Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Borderlands remastered. And it is time to take on Mad Mel. Road Warriors, Bandit Apocalypse, Mad Mel killed, and Claptrap talked to. Those are our objectives. The most hellacious one, of course, is the first one killing Mad Mel. Let's get ourselves a runner. Make sure you got a rocket launcher on board. I'm going to show you the weaponry I've got. Uh, well, I can't show you now because I'm in the vehicle. I'll show you when we get to our destination. Basically the same weaponry I had before, except I, um... Okay, this Mad Mel guy, I know him. He's the one has been stealing all my runners and putting them in the hands of these jagoffs. Hey, you say hello from Scooter. And by that I mean you just go murder the crap out of him, alright? Alright, yeah. Okay, and like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, um... Let me just show you now the weaponry I got. This is going to be using... Uh, this is what I newly acquired, this budget rocket launcher. This is going to become very useful. This assault rifle, and of course my relentless bruiser. Definitely want to discover this outpost here. Okay, make sure it's lit green so that if you <coughs> die, <laughs> which is highly likely, just plan on dying. And now it's a good time to spend all your money so that um, if you incur a death tax, it will be very low. Next thing you want to do is just take a vehicle and run it just over the edge, just the front wheels, just over the edge here like this. This will allow you to get out of the arena, all right? So you get in, just come up here, enter the driver's seat, and then just exit the vehicle and you're back on the ramp again. So if you want to get out of the arena, that's the way you do it. Next, um, let's go activate everybody. As soon as that gate there shuts, we're going to do an about face, phase walk back to our vehicle and get out. There's our queue. Phase walk back. Look up. Enter your vehicle. Spin around. Exit your vehicle. And you're in the safety of the outside of the ramp. Now, make sure you take up a position away from your vehicle so it doesn't get like blown up. And just go hard at everybody. The most dangerous guys are the psychos throwing axes. Because they can actually go right through the ramp. So you gotta take those guys out. You may think you're safe because you know you're ducking behind the ramp. Um, escaping the rockets, but it's those guys, those psychos throwing axes at you. They'll chew up your health in no time. And let me get on my sniper rifle here. And another big problem is visibility from the rockets. And watch the mini map. Just to let you know how many enemies are in the arena besides the runners. Come to Papa. These runners are hard to hit with a rocket launcher. You gotta lead them a lot. I find the SMG works best. Got him. Okay. Next. Round two. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to get in there because I want to murder those guys. I really want to eliminate those guys. Like I said, they're the worst part.
Oh, these guys are burning cycles. Okay, so my... Okay, so I think that's all the uh, the cycles down. Maybe one over there. It looks like a badass over there. Yeah, okay, we don't have to worry about him. Because he doesn't throw axes. That should be everybody. Okay, let's get out. Okay, we just gotta take down that runner. Stay down below the ramp for protection. There we go, this should spawn Mad Mill. <laughs> yeah! Come on, little one! Time to die! Okay, keep an eye on the mini-map, make sure there's just two red dots if there's more, or three red dots, okay, there's more. That means we got, yeah, count for everybody. Badass Psycho over there, a couple of runners running around, and I think there's a... Oh, it looks okay. Yeah, like I said, those Psychos throwing axes, they will chew you up more than anything. Okay, good. Okay, time to pull out the heavy artillery. Okay, that was a little premature ejaculation there. Usually I like to wait till Mad Mel's coming directly towards me. That, we got an axe throw. Hang on, this is priority number one. I got him. Okay. Yeah, those axes can go right through the ramp. That's a pain. Okay, I'll just like to wait till he's coming right towards me and shoot right under his wheels. Right here. There we go. There we go. Who's your daddy, Mad Mel? Who is your. Okay, wait till he comes around again. Comes right towards you, shoot right under him. Yeah, he's taking some heat, he's taking some heat. Gotcha! Oh, well, who freaking raw? Matt Mel is gone, blood his worthless piece of crap soul. <laughs> Get um Here, that'll soften me up a bit. Now come over here, let me finish you off. <laughs> come to daddy. There you go. It's dead? That's a great way to take care of that guy. Soften him up with the runner. And then finish him off to get full XA full XP. Clappy! I've received proof of Mad Mel's demise! You did now. Everywhere will rejoice. Please wait while I enable access to New Haven! <laughs> Open! All right. In New Haven by episode 11. <laughs> Told you this would be a lightning run. Not a speed run, but a quick run. As I know, most of my viewers don't like speed I'm runs. I'm transmitting to inform you that I've made a decision I think you won't like. As administrator of New Haven, I am responsible for the well-being of its citizens. And in that capacity, I must keep the road to sanctuary closed for now. That's nice. Baron Flint's tribe and that infernal contraption of theirs are out on the salt flats. And I don't want citizens getting killed trying to get past them. 
That's nice. Okay, and we have earned ourselves an extra slot to hold another weapon. Excellent. Let's put Sledge's Shotgun here, and let's put uh, Combat Rifle there. Everything is as it should be. Alright, got a new quest. Power to the people. Usually I like to quickly do this before I take on any of the other quests here in town from Scooter or from the Bounty Board, because he's just going to feed you more as soon as you finish this, so then you have to like run back to the Bounty Board. Okay, so let's light up all the generators. First generator is here. Next generator is down here. Third generator is in the back. He getting some phase walk to get there quickly. Fourth generator is up on the roof. Something I never realized before, you can actually reach it from the ground. You don't have to make the big run around to get up to the roof. Just go right here, jump up, there we go. And fifth generator is over here. There you go. All right, new quest, seek out Tannis now. Let's go collect all the missions. And Scooter has a little something, something for us. There you go. Take all his missions and take all the missions from the Bounty Bird to get Claptrap to shut up. Very good. Everything on board. Sika Tannis. That's up to bat. Let's ammo up. Let me just take a quick look to see if I can get it. Oh wait, you can't do that yet. Um, all right, let's get in out to see Patricia Tannis. Okay, and while we're waiting, let's just light these guys up. <laughs> Get a little quick XP. There we go. <laughs> Ta ta now. See you in the funny papers. Oh shoot, did I go through without my vehicle? That's okay, there's another catch right on the other side. Here we go. Damn, that's a nice mod too. 30% elemental effect chance. That's more than all five points in uh, in Spark. All right, I'm looking for an upgrade, something like this, but like you know, something along the lines of a Panacea. This wouldn't be bad either. Um, I think I'll hold out for something better, something with health regen. Enough walking. Alright, Patty Tannis is all the way up in the northeast end. 
Fancy Chewy. Okay, now make sure you stick to the right side here. Watch out for those um, corrosive barrels if you bump into them and then they they go off <laughs> and then your car is stuck. Typically you end up in a fight for life sequence, sequence with nobody around. Make sure you discover this outpost here, the underpass. Then... You can drive on over to the entrance to... Patricia Tannis' area. Alright, make sure you get a good rack buster. Like, um... Let's say this. Right on over there. Hold up, hold up here, hold up. You are not part of the agenda. Okay, and I just kind of like to look up and if any racks are coming at me. Like that. Get in here. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Got the crazy Earl quest. Put save out. Reload, and this will load us back at that outpost that I had you discover earlier on. And let's spawn a vehicle and drive on over to Crazy Earl's scrapyard. Let's get some wheels. Yeah. Which is right there. There's that that red chest that I got my volcano, I believe, if I recall correctly, in my first run. Was it my first run or? Anyways, some of my viewers will rec recognize vintage Slack Borderlands. A vintage Slack Borderlands moment. Okay, we're gonna have to proceed on foot from this point on. All right, boys, take them out. We're out of here. <laughs> Cutting it pretty close, like yeah, yeah. Actually, I kicked in uh, phase walk a little too soon. Get your mans here. This seems to be always here. This is pretty standard. So if I don't ha find anything better by level twenty-two, I'm gonna grab this. Pretty cheap too. Okay. Just can't carry enough bullets for your favorite gun. Sounds like you need a storage deck upgrade. Supplies limited. Okay, some of these skags and spider ants may be a little above our pay grade, but they're easily manageable with this boy, this bad boy, and my mercenary class mob with plus 40% SMG damage. That should do it. No problem at all. 
Who else wants some? Oh, hold up here. <laughs> you didn't like that one bit. Okay, any badasses want to throw a curveball at me? Baby, I got it. <laughs> and we have leveled up. Excelente. All right, now none of the skills that I really want to put points into, um, one point is not going to do it for me. For example, mind games or inner glow, that would be another good one. But I really intend on maxing out mind games. One point is not going to do it. I would rather put points into silent resolve until I stacked up like at least four points then take them out of Silent Resolve and put it into a mind game. So that's the plan. And that is it. That's the end of this video. Coming up next, we're going to do... This guy here. Get off my line. Is that it? Yeah, here. Kill three spider ants and 25 bandits for crazy Earl. Plus, we're going to get a claptrap... Uh, Storage deck upgrade, clap a little claptrap repair mission. Yeah, that's coming up next video. Hey, Alexa, thank you all very much for watching. <laughs> okay, we're on, Daryl. This is a little the way Earl talks. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.